You might have been rejected by a family member. You might have been rejected by a friend. You might have approached somebody that you found attractive and they've rejected you. You might be rejected by a college or a university, by a job. There's almost an unlimited amount of ways in which you can be rejected. When we're young and we experience rejection, we feel the discomfort of that. And it is such a horrible experience because we then start to look within ourselves. We're like, well, why, why have I been rejected? What's wrong with me? And then quite often we can start to construct these really harmful belief systems about ourselves that quite often aren't true. So we can start to think that we're not good enough. We don't look good enough. We're not intelligent enough. What that eventually does is it starts to kind of pull us away from situations in which we could feel rejected. By the time we're kind of teens, early adulthood, we've created this whole system of avoidance. We typically become less likely to enter into a situation where there is a prospect of rejection because we've had all of these really horrible negative experiences in our past. Why would we want to experience that again? Why would we approach somebody that we find attractive if we feel like they're out of our league? Why would we apply for a job that we're not good enough for? Why would we put ourselves out there and apply to a university that we're just not intelligent enough for? We've created these really harmful belief systems and it's actually pulled us back from doing the things that we really want to do. And I like to think of a, a pinball machine. So if you imagine a pinball machine right in front of you, so in this pinball machine, you have the ball, which represents you. And at the bottom is the hole, which is your destiny. It's where you're meant to be. It's your final destination or whatever it is, however you want to see it. And in the pinball machine, there's all of these different obstacles. And in order to get to the destiny, the ball has to hit so many different obstacles in the right sequence in order to arrive there. And without those obstacles, then you're not gonna hit the destiny. So. The reason I'm telling you this is maybe life is actually a bit of a pinball machine. Maybe the experiences of rejection that we all have are the obstacles in that machine. And without them, maybe we wouldn't actually end up where we're supposed to end up. Maybe not every door is supposed to open to us because it's not meant for us. Maybe doors stay closed for a reason. Maybe people reject us for a reason, maybe it drives you actually to that final destination and ultimately exactly where you're meant to be. And maybe if we start to see it a little bit differently and stop blaming ourselves for our rejection and just see it as part of the fabric of the world around us. And if you think about your life and think about some of the experiences that you've had with rejection, Think about where your life is now, you know, perhaps you were rejected for a job a long time ago that you really wanted, but now you're in an even better job. Or perhaps you were rejected by a prospect partner, now you're in an even better relationship. You just kind of have to question what would happen if that rejection didn't happen? Maybe rejection is a gift. How's that? <laughs>